Uh, when living in community, different monastics may have different vocations. Some might be more inclined toward study, some like to work or do ceremonies or counsel mm -hmm. people and so on. How do you mm -hmm. facilitate harmony between them? You rejoice. Yeah, you rejoice at what everybody else in the monastery does. Yeah, because you're all there together for the common purpose of progressing towards awakening, for the common purpose of benefiting, you know, society. So you rejoice at all the different people, all the different things that people do to actualize those, those common um, motivations that you have. Yeah. And yes, some people love ceremonies. Some people can't stand them. Yeah. Some people like a lot of ceremonies. Some people like a little ceremonies. You know, you just kind of, you know, if your monastery does ceremonies, you join in. Yeah. But then some people want to do more ceremonies. That's fantastic. Okay. We have people who do ceremonies online and, in, and have other people join in the ceremonies. They all do. I mean, we have a medicine Buddha practice. We have people in Ukraine and Russia doing the medicine Buddha practice with us. That's fantastic. Okay. Now, that is led by a few people, not the whole monastery. And other people in the monastery, at the time they're on Zoom, leading medicine Buddha practice with the people all over the world. Yeah. Then other people are sitting and studying philosophy. And other people may be doing, you know, an extra meditation session. And then you just rejoice at, at all the different ways that people practice. Yeah. Because everybody's creating merit. Everybody's doing something worthwhile. You don't all have to do everything exactly the same. Yeah. You know, if you live in a monastery, yes, there's meditation sessions. Everybody goes. There's certain rituals. Everybody participates. Yeah. But then there's so much space within the structure to do other things. And, and you know, there's teachings. Everybody attends. Some people like to discuss the teachings afterwards for many hours and have a review session. Other people would rather go back and just, you know, go over their notes. Some people want to meditate. Some people want to do a ceremony. There's like, I've had enough philosophy for today, you know? So you rejoice at what everybody's doing.